pack. Simple. <laughs> That's how eBay works if you're a buyer, you know. You got Good morning, it's uh, really early for me, it's just gone 8 o'clock, yes 8 o'clock in the morning, oh. right, and it's really 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 foggy morning actually, look at this, just across there I can usually see the church tower and I can't even see that. So, another dull, wet, foggy morning. Hello, Pidgeys. Two Pidgeys sitting on the fence. Almost sitting there identically. Look, look at that. Twins! <laughs> yeah. There's more Pidgeys. There's another four over there on the grass. Flying rats, as they get nicknamed, I suppose, because they get in all the bloody garbage and whatnot. They're annoying birds, but I do like them. Anyway, I am up early for the second day running because uh, my stepdad's been moving some stuff, at least the garden stuff, to the um, new house. And taking some of that ladies to their house as they're doing an exchange. Um, basically what they're waiting on now is Mum's Housing Association to do the electrical test. You know, test all the electrics and make sure that's all hunky-dory, which it will be because it's a brand new bungalow. Same with the gas. Although since she has lived there, she's had two gas leaks. The bungalow is about just over a year old and it's had two gas leaks <laughs> but uh, yeah that they've all been fixed anyway so there shouldn't be any problems there but once all that's done it's basically sign the paperwork and I, you know agree a date that's simple as that so uh, I'm waiting to be picked up I've got about half an hour so I thought I'd use the last bit of this battery up Right. Also, 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 I have a second camera now. Well, actually, I've got, in total, I think I've got five various cameras, but three, well, two of them are actually shit. Because they're like cheap 50 quid things that you can buy. You know, these bloody things. <laughs> Vivitar. Not my favourite brand, but this actually had a half decent one. One second. That was mum, she's on her way to pick me up. So I've got a meter across at Lidl. 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 I will get there and I will start pronouncing it correctly. But anyway, yeah, I've got a couple of cameras like this. There's a Thompson one I picked. Up. I think I picked both of these up in no, this one I picked up at a car boot sale last year um, and even though it's got a different name on it, that's Thompson, it's virtually the same camera as the other one there's a few cosmetic differences in how it looks but other than that, the software on it and everything is pretty much the freaking same <laughs> it's probably made in the same factory <clears throat> um yeah, at the weekend I picked up this one. Just a little point and shoot thing. Because these are actually great just for photos. Not so... Thank you, Luna. Not so good for videos. This does video, but it's the quality is not that good. 
It's what I used to use before. I used to use a camera similar to this before I got this um, Sony Handycam. Um, which has actually been my favourite camcorder today. It's actually a lovely little camera that I got from fellow YouTuber Mark Hyder. Of course, it's got to be about a year ago I got this now. So, touch wood. It's a, been a damn good camera. I've dropped it I don't know how many times and it, it still works. It's got a bit of a cosmetic damage where I've dropped it, but and the battery pack is now temperamental. If I you know, flick the camera in a certain way or nudge the battery on the back, it does shut the camera off and I risk losing the footage. So I do have to be careful with it. But uh, I also got given this camera um, yesterday, actually. Apparently my stepdad was meant to give it to me like a year and a half ago. <laughs> it's a little Canon. Um, does it give me it? PowerShot A470. Um, takes AA batteries, which is probably the only bummer with this. So I've got a couple of rechargeables in there at the minute. I've uh, put my 16 gigabyte memory card in this one because this one actually does decent enough footage video. There's just a little dial on the back here, you know. You just rotate that to whatever you want to put it to. There's um, two different photo modes from the look of it. One labelled SCL, I have no idea what that is. Playback and video. So I've already done like a little test video really just to see what it looked like and if the audio was good enough and yeah it is so this one I'll probably use when I'm out and about because it's a bit more pocket friendly um, so I'm gonna have to I've got a bicycle light with um, some rechargeable double A's in there that I'm not using the light so I might as well take the rechargeable batteries out of that for this because I had a camera before that took double A's and uh, I had like three or four pairs that were always charged so I didn't have to sit there and wait for hours for them a bloody charge these are energizer ones in here as well at the minute so I'm actually pretty happy with that um, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever do anything with these, but I suppose as an emergency camera, they'd uh, be all right for that. Right, so I've got about another 10, 15 minutes before I've got to go and leave. To meet Mum over at Lidl, which is actually one of my favourite stores. We don't have an Aldi or an Aldi. Is it Aldi? Aldi? Not sure how that's pronounced. But anyway, I don't have one in town. The nearest one is in Norwich. So, ooh. I'm not going to waste a can this time. Well, it's payday, so I've been paid, but uh, phone bill takes up a huge chunk. It's got to be paid this time. I can't put it off because uh, I'm too close to the cut-off date. I know what date they roughly cut me off each month. Or what date they give you till before they you know, restrict your services. Which, um, kind of glad I did figure that one out because it does help me budget a bit better, although I still do, you know, still do get the late fees because I am late often. I don't mind. Uh, da -da -da -da. At some point, when me and Mum actually have the time, because with the house move and whatnot, she's going to be pretty busy, we need to um, 
sit down and call Pip. Um, because um, if you have Asperger syndrome or autism, you can get Pip. Although I've been told it's not easy. But I do feel as I suffer a lot with social anxiety and actually do not like going out into the work, you know, the wide world out there, or as little as possible. And there's no harm in trying. I'd rather try, you know, and apply for it and then be told, nope, you're not going to get it, than um, sit here wondering. Well, could I have got that? Could I not have gotten that? You know, I'd rather just go try and get the answer. But, um... Yeah, we, me and Mum need to sit and do that together, because I'm shit on a telephone. Friends, I'm fine, but f phoning anything like that, I'm absolutely crap at. Yeah, what else? Oh, by the way, this, um, that camera cost me £10 out of a charity shop. Rechargeable battery as well. It's actually pretty thin. So, so it is ideal for, um, I don't know if you're going out somewhere and you just want something to, you know, take quick videos with and lots of photos, because this takes really good photos. It's not a brand I rec well, it's not a recognisable brand, you know, a popular brand, but it does the job. And it came with everything, you know, it came with the bat didn't come with a memory card, but it came with the battery box, pouch to put it in. The little um sort of velvety pouch thing. Uh what else was in the box? The USB cable, the manual, and the CD. And actually this came with its box and CDs and everything as well. I actually really do like this one. Ooh, DC in. Is that charging only, or could I actually use this from a DC adapter? As in, sit this on a tripod and run it from a, you know, an external power supply. May have to try that. Does it actually say what voltage it's got to be? I'm going to give Mum some extra time because of that fog. Although I did actually notice driving in the fog doesn't actually seem to bother me. Well, I say driving, you know, riding as a passenger. I don't drive. Sometimes I wish I did, you know, just to have that independence, but. I've been told you should save, get your license. Yeah, I could. But then I can't afford to run the actual car. <laughs> so, to me, I don't see the point in getting a license. Because, like I said, I can't afford to run the car once I've got it. You know, I can't afford the insurance, I can't afford the tax, I can't afford the upkeep of the vehicle. You know, MOT, repairs, you know, like, general replacement of wearables like the bloody tyres and things. So I've just not seen the point in saving. Right. Battery's holding out well, isn't it? Um, yeah, finish my drink off. Uh, oh, um, I picked up another radio when I remember where I put it. I put it in something. What did I put it in? Oh, top of my toolbox. <laughs> it's a very fetching colour. <laughs> But it is Woolworths brand. So it's got some age to it, but it does work. I think the CD player is a little bit temperamental, but then again, I was using a shitty CD anyway. Um, but yeah, 
but still it does work it actually works quite well oh my battery is now flashing so I can't show you anything else <laughs> I'll have to show you what arrived in the mail last week uh, this evening when I get home and once I've charged this thing so I'll talk to you then Alrighty, it's the evening, it's gone 8 o'clock. Um, I don't know what the time actually is because I need to... Oh, I need to pull my finger out and walk across to Sainsbury's. Maybe I should have done that before I turned this on. Anyway, um, all we managed to shift today was a big van load of wood. Big sheets of plywood, big sheets of MDF, which is bloody heavy. And, well lots of assorted bits of wood as well that he can uh, use to build the new workshop once they officially move um, but that's not all of it there's still some in the garden and there's still some in the um, current workshop so uh, yeah that was bloody knackering I think that van was overloaded as well, to be honest. Actually, I know it was. <clears throat> but anyway, we did that today. Um, yesterday was the big pile of bricks. I think it was about 500 bricks we had to move. and Something else we bought over as well. I'm pretty sure it weren't just the bricks. But anyway, they're planning to hire a van again next week so we can um, do the rest of what's outside. But at the same time, we've been taking this lady's stuff over to their house as well. Well, stuff that's out in her sheds in the garden, that's what we've been doing. So what we're trying to do is basically get the gardens done out of the way. So we've just got to worry about the houses when, you know, they officially move or officially swap. Heartburn. <laughs> I think that USA fried chicken gave me heartburn. Right. Sainsbury shuts at eight, and it's nearly twenty past. It shuts at nine, rather. It's twenty past eight now. So quickly went into a charity shop on the way back from getting my takeaway. Actually, I just passed it. I thought I'll just um, have a quick look. No, I didn't. I went in there on the way down to the takeaway. Sorry. It was the other one I went into on the way back. But anyway. PlayStation 2 games. I got seven. So here's the first one. The Powerpuff Girls. Unusual title. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Actually, I've only ever heard of one of these, to be honest. So I've got the Powerpuff Girls. We've got... This weird racing game. Penny Racers. Uh, Burnout Dominator. That was always a... Good title back in the day. The Flintstones Bedrock Racing. Two Sonic games. We've got Sonic Gems Collection. Sonic Mega Collection. And the last racing game that I picked up was Flat Out. Um, I don't think there's any other racing games left. Well, I've got so many because I had a little offer going. They had. Um, Two pound each or three for five pounds, so. But at the time, I didn't think of getting another two titles, otherwise, I would have to make it 15 quid, you know, just to make use of their deal. But I think there's, there's one more I know that I'll probably go back and get tomorrow. Not that I need PS2 games because I've already got over a hundred. If I find any duplicates, I'm going to give them to my brother, so I want to pull all of those out from over there later and have a look. Anyway, that's what I've been up to this evening. I've actually been back since 2 o'clock this afternoon. That was the only load we were going to do. So we're already in town, so the van got taken back. Otherwise, we would have taken some more of her stuff back to Mum's current house. <clears throat> 
But anyway, the house needs a serious redecorate. So the plan is, once they've moved in, get the house decorated. I don't know if they're going to redo the carpets, but I believe that is the plan to get the carpets done. Um, but the house is in need of desperate redecoration, so that's going to be done. But he wants to get that done before summer. So he can get out in the nice weather and um, get the workshop built. I think he wants to do that because he's not going to have anywhere to mess around in or anything to do during, you know, autumn and winter. He actually plans to put heaters in this one so he can go out there in the colder weather. <clears throat> so, lots of work. And I don't mind mucking in either. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for videos. I've got another take-apart thing down there to do. I can get that done. I'm sure I can find something. Well, I haven't done an actual vlog for, a, I don't know, over a week now, I think it is. So I thought I'd better do one. Um, need to get my boots on. I think I found two Generation 3 My Little Pony Cuddly Toys. They're the only two I've got now, but for £2.60 I wasn't going to say no. Because uh, it's not just the modern merchandise I like to collect. I'll, I'll collect the older stuff as well if I can pick them up cheap enough. So, are they in the lounge? Yeah. Mm. Pardon me, I've got a Mega Bloks pirate ship on the floor in the hallway. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a black um, sack somewhere there, and it's got, or at least the remains of a Mega Bloks pirate ship. I believe it's um, a Pirates of the Caribbean ship. Um. The bad guy's ship, I can't remember his bloody name now. Not Jack Sparrow, the other one. Nope, can't remember. Right. Part of me really cannot be bothered to walk to Sainsbury's. I've got to walk because a certain hemorrhoid issue has flared up again. It's not too bad. I can sit down and stand up and walk. But when you're riding a bike, that sort of motion of your legs moving tends to irritate it when you're sitting on a bike seat. So I don't like to ride a bike until it's better but it's not too bad it's it's flared up a hell of a lot worse than this put it that way this is tolerable I mean heck I emptied a van full of friggin wood with it but yeah I've also treated it so that should uh, be okay I think it was because I was a little bit constipated for a change there we go now you know the ins and outs of my buttocks and how my bowels work <laughs> fuck I do talk about some shit on here don't I Right. Um, laptop. This one takes a while to boot, so I'm going to have a little bit of a sort out on there. So I've gotten this one to boot up quicker. And all I've done is actually gone... Oh, I can't remember the bloody program now. But there's a thing you can go into on here and select what programs run when you boot when the PC boots up and I found loads that actually ran when the PC boots up which is obviously slowing down its boot up time so I just switched a load of them off you know programs like discord I don't need that to run when I first boot up the PC um, Steam is another one that automatically ran, so I turned that one off as well. So I thought again, that's another one I don't need to. I just need it to run when I want it to run, you know, when I click on it. So 
that's actually improved the boot up time of this. And I've actually noticed as well when I go in a task manager, there's a hell of a lot of background programs that do eat into your RAM. Most of them not a great deal, it might be a megabyte or two, but there is quite a few of them that seem to run in the background. I couldn't see, um, it wasn't saying they were affecting the processor, but my processor usage seemed to drop when I ended several tasks, even though it didn't say that task was using processor. But uh, I actually thought that's quite annoying that Windows 10 does that. You know, because a lot of it, I think, was just like automatic updates for various programs and things. And some of them only start at a certain time. I've noticed, you know, there's like a schedule for some programs, especially the updates. But uh, my rule of thumb is, though, if I don't know what that process is or what that program is that's running, I just leave it. I don't end task or turn it off or anything I only you know adjust the ones that I know what they do otherwise you know it just worries me that I'm gonna click on something that I don't know and end up breaking the computer because I'm not an expert when it comes to programs and things like that I'm not an expert my expertise is putting one of these together as I've said before you know I can screw them all together and install windows and whatnot that's about as far as my expertise go. I can install programs, you know, download them and install them and all that. Basically make your PC work like a brand new PC. When it comes down to like the nitty gritty in-depth stuff with programming and whatnot. No, can't do that. You know, there's a heck of a lot of stuff on here that I was just looking at in Task Manager. I'm like, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> various processes and things but I'm presuming most of them you know oh. <laughs> Discord is using zero point well it's actually bouncing between 0.6% processor and 0.9 oh it dropped to 0 0.4 oh 1.3 well, that really is fluctuating Skype, however, at the moment is not using any processor, but it's using 79 megabytes of RAM. And I bet if I scroll down to Firefox, that's using over a gigabyte of RAM, isn't it? Yes, 1,251 megabytes of RAM. So a gig and a half of RAM to run Firefox. But I don't get it, because if I now do this, Close Firefox. No, close Firefox. Right. Minimize that. Minimize that. Reopen Firefox. Like so. Let's bring Facebook back up. I've got a funny feeling it's Facebook. I should have looked before I opened Facebook, actually. Right. So with a refresh, face when Facebook opened, I'm now using about 600 megabytes of RAM on Firefox. See, that's another one. I've got Facebook Game Room 32-bit. That's using RAM, but I've not got Facebook Game Room running at the moment. I'm using about... Processor has actually dropped eight percent. It's a lot of programs sort of starting and stopping and affecting that. Anyway, I've, I think I've rambled on enough. So it's eight thirty-three. Apparently, I'm not going to make it to Sainsbury's. I've got two cans of cola left. I can walk to Lidl, but I probably end up having to get like a pack of um. um Pepsi or something, or a bottle of Pepsi. Prefer cans, they don't take as long to chill. 4% processor. I've actually got an app 
that I downloaded here as well to tell me what my temperatures are. Just let that do its thing and I'll tell you what my processor temperature is running at. It's just got to get everything. Uh, GPU, my graphics is at 53 centigrade. I don't know if there's an option to turn, change that to Fahrenheit. Well, it's in centigrade, I'm afraid. Um, there's a flame beside that. I don't know if the flame means it's running too hot. I've got a fan running on it. Maybe I should take that video card out and redo the thermal on it as well. That'll be a job for tomorrow then. Because the um, fan packed up on my video card. Um, but I put a replacement on there which is just an old processor fan. You see temperature 1 of the processor is 40 degrees. And that's got a big green tick. Oh, it's just dropped to 39. Temp 3, 36, and temp 3. Why is it two temp 3s? 35. I think that's the ambient temperature, according to my brother. And he actually said, you know, if your ambient temperature's in the 30s, your processor temperature will be up in the 40s. Oh, it's just dropped to. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't know if that flame, look, I don't know if that's actually meant to be there. For my GPU. I mean, it's still working absolutely fine. It's not shown any signs of it, you know, playing up or anything. Oh, it even tells you your um, voltages of your processor as well. 3.33 volt. 1.10 volt. VIN 2, VIN 3, VIN 4, V core. I have no idea what any of that is. But the voltages look alright to me anyway. Right, I'm going to hang up the camera. Turn the camera off because I'm rambling too much. So thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you liked the video and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.